All right, so we're gonna do some rowing. Um, and I wanna talk about getting the most bang for your buck out of the rower. Now, the monitor on the rower is typically how you gauge your workout, either going for meters or calories. Now, the rower is gonna count more meters or calories with more power output, not necessarily how fast you can cycle through this. More power output plus range of motion. So when you go into the rower, yes, we wanna keep our heels down as much as we can, we want to get this handle pretty close to the machine. Now, it doesn't look like I'm in the best position right now with the round the back, but that's okay. I'm going to inhale as the handle comes back towards the machine. I'm going to initiate initial the movement by leaning back, leg drive, and falling through to the bottom of my chest right there. Coming up here, it's loose and easily on the chain, so you're not getting anything out of it. Okay. Lean back, pull up to the bottom of your chest. You're going to reverse that same pattern. So I'm going to let that chain go, bend my knees. I'm going to lean in. Now from here, again, this is not the best position, but the first thing I'm going to do is turn my lats on for that first initial pull. That turns into a lean back, leg drive, follow through, reverse that pattern. Inhale, exhale. Inhale on the way in, exhale on the way out. Again, it's all about power. This is much closer to a deadlift than a squat. So if this starts to happen, a lot of the strength is gonna be initiated from this little muscle in your quad, and it's gonna have the handle go up and around your knees. Always think about using your hamstrings and glutes, very similar to a deadlift, rather than a squat on your toes and heels coming up. It's not what we wanna get out of it.